we are back with another set of TWS earphones. This time it's the Bakey LB10 Bluetooth earbuds that do come with nice little snazzy charge case. As you may be aware, this week we've been doing a lot of TWS earphone unboxings. And yes, you can go ahead, check those videos out just now. They are in the video description. But for now, let's continue with what we've got just here today. And what have we got? Well, these particular earphones do come in black, white and pink. But these ones today, well, we've got the black version. They do indeed come with the latest Bluetooth 5.0 technology with a specified 12 meters Bluetooth transmission distance, a full four hours music playback time. Well, that will vary depending on the volume and two hours to fully charge. I mean, the box is pretty basic. I did pick these up for as little as 11 pounds. That's off the Banggood website. That's around 14 in US dollars for TWS earphones. And that's the price at the time of this upload. So for as little as 11 pounds, are they any good? Let's find out. Let's delve inside. Ah, okay, nothing fancy. We've got the charge case to the top. Jeez, so we have a super duper small micro USB charge cable. Look how tiny it is. And yeah, it's not type C, so no fast charging, I'm afraid. Do we have English instructions? Ah, yes we do, that's great, nice one. So we got a simple instruction manual, that's it. And back to the charge case, let's take it out. And okay, so it's in a super white. There is a slight bit yellow to it. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's the lighting. Hmm, there's no power buttons, I don't think. Nope, but there is a micro USB charge port to the rear. I don't think there's any LED indicated either. Let's open it up. Oh, look at this. Oh, we got a nice little snazzy the middle. So that's good for you gals, only be guys, who would like to you make up. Oh, make up on the go, or listen to music. So yes, we do indeed get some LED charge indicators to the top and as you can see we've already got the earphones inserted. Yes they are magnetically pulled into the charge sockets which are indeed embedded so there's no rocking about while they're in your pocket and you can see that we have those dual charge pins to the bottom. Well, to now a nice case but that lid to tell you the truth it does feel a little bit flimsy and it is quite bulky especially while it's in your pocket. So when you first open up this charge case you will indeed need to turn these earphones on. That's simply done by pressing those side buttons. Hold them for a few seconds. And now they're powered on, they will automatically go into pairing mode. Let's take them out. And connectivity is real swift using that Bluetooth 5.0 technology. Let's have a look at the earphones. Well, did you come with one size fit all ear tips which isn't really great because you know after all we do have different size ears and it's very important to have the correct size ear tip fitted not only for sound seal but for the best sound quality so yeah they are indeed large earbuds fitted got these dual charge pins to the rear there's no right or left indicators they're kind of exactly the same you don't know which is what or what is which so i'm guessing that this is the left one because the first one that's initiated is the left one and when it's connected to your device the left will indeed connect to the right now these earphones can be used singular or binaural so these do indeed have microphones built in as mentioned those led indicators and those touch controls so yes you will hopefully be able to control music, voice calls, voice assistant, volume control, and the previous and next track selections. Let's hope so, we'll try them out in a sec. You know what, also, they are indeed IPX5 waterproof. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, it's gone all over the carpet, Jesus. Yeah, very good for those rainy days and resistant towards sweat. Super white bright, I don't know how long they're gonna stay that way. And we're gonna test them out over the next few hours. Wow. Now, right away, you have to really physically insert these earphones into your ears, quite forcefully in fact, and twist. Will they come out? That should do feel like they're popping out of it. But yeah, I think these will probably come out when running. When it comes to the sound, I've got to say, I've been using these for the past couple of hours and um, I'm a bit in between, to be honest. 
Okay, let's start with the base. The base isn't really magnificent. It's quite average, in fact. It's not really got much thump. It's got some good sound seal on the earphones, I must say. That's due to those um, big, large earbuds fitting in nice and tight. But with the high tones, it's just a bit lacklustre. It's not much of a real boost. The boost that you really need when you listen to certain genres of music like hip-hop. The mids are okay. The mids are okay. I'll give them that. And the low tones are great, too. Yeah, the treble's not too bad. Also, quite average. And it's a bit of a mix, really. The high tone's not that great. The bass is a bit off. They're what you would expect for around £11, I think. Especially being TWS earphones. Don't get me wrong, they're not awful. They actually look not too bad, to be honest. White style earphones. I can go with certain outfits. Apart from that, comfortability-wise, didn't feel like my ears were overheating or too sweaty. But uh, I'd say for running, they're definitely going to fall out once or twice. Like I said, you've really got to push them right into your ear. I cannot just about hear my voice just now, so sound seal, like I mentioned, is fantastic. But other than that, quite average sounding earphones. But as I've tested the touch controls, they do actually work. Yes, indeed, play, pause, call, answering. And that's the same on both ears. So we've got volume control, double tap. Previous and next track selection, triple tap. And we do indeed have voice assistant. That's great. And guess what, guys? Voice calls ain't too bad, too. All right, dude. I'm just trying to see if um, these earphones and testing out today are basically good or making calls. So how does my voice sound? Is there any uh, distortion or any disruptions? <laughs> nah, he's answering straight away, so... So you can hear me clear. Average. So out of 10? Seven. Okay, seven voice... Yeah, not bad. I'll get back to you in a sec, yeah? All right, in a bit, mate. So, yeah. Yeah, voice calls, not too bad. Actually, it sounded pretty clear from this side. Um, touch controls, not bad. Sound is average. It was okay using them for about an hour and a half. After three hours, they did feel a bit uncomfortable. So, yeah, let's get to a few of my personal findings. So, while using these earphones throughout the day, I did manage to get two hours, 40 minutes out of a full charge and that is while using 100% volume with the bluetooth distance i did just get under that 10 meters about 9 meters in fact before the bluetooth transmission disconnected that is obviously without obstacles being in the way now you can indeed swap out the earbuds if need be especially if you want to keep them in your ears nice and tight they did fall out maybe three times in total today and yeah it does take a lot of pressure to keep them in but honestly to be truthful you can get earphones for the exact same price, which are these ones just there, which are the Bakey X6s. You do have extremely good bass, good sound quality, and touch controls that control not only the music, but all the functions like volume control and the music and the previous and next track selections too. Yeah, they're not too bad looking, and you can check these out within that video description down below. But yeah, touch controls, very good. Absolutely fantastic in fact, they did correspond with every single function. Very responsive, and if I was to rate these earphones today out of my usual rating out of 10, well do you know what, I'm going to be generous, I'm going to give it an even Steven, 5 out of 10. So yes, a micro USB powered charge case with TWS earphones that are quite average. £11, not too bad, anything more? Mm. Maybe not so. You can go ahead and check these out if you wish. There's a link provided in the video description down below. And if you go and click it, and if you like what you see, well, go get yours. And while you're there in that video description, it'd be my fine if you go ahead and smash that like button. I would very much appreciate it if you subscribe today. And make sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. Now I hope to see you guys in my very next review coming very soon. And if you've not checked my best budget earphone playlist, go ahead, it will be at the end of this video just now. And I will hope to see you guys real soon. So yeah, thanks for watching and peace!